When you have a higher flux of cosmic rays, you have more charge in the atmosphere. And when you have more charge in the atmosphere, uh, several things happen. One is that you nucleate more small particles. And the other thing is that these small, a larger fraction of these small particles can grow to become large uh, particles without being eaten by the already formed large particles. Mm, mm, Got it. Mm. Okay. And so that that creates more sites for cloud nucleation as opposed to it exactly. all being concentrated in one place. And longer lived? They live longer? Like they're not falling out of solution? They live longer because it's hard for, uh, for rain to precipitate. Got it. Um, they, uh, they're whiter and there are several other effects. Uh, um, they're more there's, opaque. There's maybe half a dozen different effects. Okay. One of the interesting effects is that clouds... Which, when you have more uh, cloud condensation nuclei, you can uh, switch from something called closed cell convection to open cell convection, which is that, uh, okay, normally, so when you have more uh, cloud condensation nuclei, um, the clouds are whiter, so you have like a, um, a full deck of uh, clouds. Um, and the clouds are, uh, uh, are driven by cooling of the top. And you get convection where the hot air forming the clouds is in the middle of the cells. And on the sides of the cells, you get a sinking of the uh, air. Uh, when you have a fewer cloud condensation nuclei, uh, it's very easy for the droplets to uh, coalesce and to form uh, raindrops and for the cloud to rain away, uh, to precipitate. And what happened is that uh, you get the opposite uh, behavior, that um, a, a, you, you drive the, the cloud or the convection by heating the surface. Uh, you get a hot air rising and forming clouds on the cells, on, on the boundaries of the cells. And then uh, the cloud is uh, precipitated away and you get dry air sinking in the middle. And uh, if you uh, Google a, a open cell convection clouds, um, you can see... Um, they're like they, they have holes in them. They're they're, they're like they, they basically they maintain just this the the uh, cloud material appears to just be in these these lines on the exactly. outside. Exactly, so of it's the, the boundaries. And you actually you can see that when you have a, sh a ship a ship track, you can within the wake of the ship you change the character of the con of the convection because of that. So, um, I mean, it's it's one effect, but what I'm saying is that there are a lot of several effects which uh, are interesting uh, and take place when you change the number density of cloud condensation nuclei. Okay, okay. I th so I think, some of them yeah. are trivial, like for the like the fact that um, you change the albedo because you have a larger surface to volume ratio, and other things are uh, are. Uh, bizarre, like the change in the in the uh, in the convection, which changes the the albedo of the clouds. So, um, which is the reflectivity? Yeah, because if you have the same, like if you for for the same surface area that you're looking at, an open cell has a much lower albedo than a closed cell. Exactly. So let's see this demonstration. Yeah, and if we could just narrate it as we go for people who are listening too, that would be really good. Uh, we can just describe what, what's going on with this, uh, this demonstration you've got here. Okay, so here we have a, it's, it's a mineral water bottle. Um, and um, if, if I shake it, then uh, obviously I reach some kind of equilibrium. Uh, I have up close to 100% humidity inside the bottle. And when I squeeze it, he's breathing into the bottle now. When I squeeze it, 
I uh, increase the pressure, and when I, uh, uh, I let go, the pressure decreases, and they should get um, a... I get a dramatic cooling of the um, a, of the air with the water, and if I'm close to 100% humidity, I should get condensation. But I don't see anything special happening, right? Mm-hmm. Nothing. So However, weird. if I increase the number density of cloud condensation nuclei by taking a match, and then uh, extinguishing it when it's inside, I'll get the smoke. The Please. match is going into the bottle right now, giving off smoke inside of the bottle. And so the idea here is that the smoke from the match is particulate matter that's going to go into the bottle and is going to create nucleations. Okay, now I have smoke. Okay. And now what will happen is that uh, there will be many more particles on, over which I can uh, condense the the water can condense. Okay. So he's squeezing the bottle now, I believe. Yeah, yeah. and so basically now when you squeeze the bottle, it, it becomes, becomes uh, it's transparent. Yeah. Opaque, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transparent, opaque. Oh, that's so interesting. Transparent. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. So opaque. as he squeezes the bottle, I'm, I, there is no cloud, cloud, no cloud, cloud. He is making the clouds by applying negative pressure to them, actually. And so what is the, what is the mech- how does this tie back to the Earth mechanism? So it cho- this, is, this is equivalent to the sheet tracks that you've seen before. Basically, it shows you that if you play with the number density of cloud condensation nuclei, you will change the uh, character of uh, the cloud. You see that we can form here clouds which are much whiter. But without in- the nucleating particles in the first place, you don't get anything. Mm-hmm. 